This one little machine right here, the Canon R40, can let you photograph and list hundreds of thousands of sports cards, trading cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, and postcards all in just a tiny bit of time. Let me show you how it works. Yeah, so welcome back, Rockstars. Uh, Friday, August 9th, 2024. This is a Canon R40, and it is a beast. This thing is absolutely amazing. Canon is not sponsoring this video. They're not a sponsor of mine. They don't pay me for these videos or nothing. I just really, truly love this machine. I'm going to show you how it works. Once you download it, it does work on MacBook and Windows. I have a Mac. You guys know I use Apple. Um, once you have the driver and software downloaded right off the website, super easy. Um, and I'm going to link this Canon down below so you can check it out on Amazon and, um, and purchase one if you're into postcards, sports cards, trading cards. Now, I highly recommend that you don't do expensive cards through this. I would say anything up to like 50 bucks is probably fine. Uh, I've done a $75 one. It's never damaged anything. Never a bad thing to say about this, this scanner. But if you ran a 250 or $300 card through it and it did damage it for any reason, you're gonna be super upset and you're gonna blame me. So don't do that. <laughs> blame the Canon if it happens, but I just wouldn't do it. Um, if you've got something of that much value, take the photos yourself. Now, this is super good quality. You can play with the DPI and the settings and get the actual image of the card. So let me show you what you can do. You can change the sizes of it and everything. Once you have it set up on your computer, all you're gonna do is open it up and it's gonna pop up with the menu just like you would see anything else. And you're going to take your cards. You can stack up like 30, 40, 50. Now, it does the scan upside down. So normally you would stick it in like this. You're going to stick it in like that, right? So we're going to go ahead and stick these in. Remember, it does two sides, right? Double-sided. And you can, again, you can make this wider to fit your postcards, or you can shrink this up and fit your sports cards. And then all you're going to do is you're going to open up your little capture one. And you're going to click to scan on the double-sided. I'll put a little screenshot up so you guys can see. Scan the double-sided. Watch what happens. Bang, 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 bang. Now, they will get hung up a little bit, so don't just set it and leave it. You can see it. You know, just kind of help them along a little bit. Just kind of give them a little pile there. And uh, no problem at all, right? Again, don't do it for expensive cards because something bad could happen and you'll blame me. And then... While you're doing that, look what happened over here on the computer screen. There are all your pictures, front and back. And they're really good. You can get the DPI settings to be like 240, 420, whatever they are, 400, 200, 250, and really show the quality of the card, especially if it's like a $10, $15, $20 card. For some reason, this one came in crooked, but you can or rotate it. You can rotate these, no problem. And then all you're gonna do and like I said, you can zoom up and see the quality of the card, right? All you're going to do is hit finish. And it's going to save the files. And it's going to pop it up into a folder right there on my computer, user Rockstar Flipper documents. And that's it. I can open that up. And I have all the photos on my computer ready to list on eBay or another website if you use. And it's all because of this fancy little Canon 40 uh, 40R, R40, I'm sorry, Canon R40. Let me zoom up so you guys can see that fancy right there. Canon Image Formula R40. I'll link it down below. It's a fantastic piece of equipment if you want to do postcards, sports cards, trading cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, any of that sort of stuff, Magic the Gathering, uh, which I plan to do more of soon. Um, invest in your business, invest in yourself. Uh, the price, uh, it's anywhere around $225 to $275. The link that I have right now is $249. It is a little bit of an investment, but if you're even making five to 10 bucks a card, you guys can see how you only need to sell, what, 30 cards, you know, 40 cards at most, and you'll be good. Think about the amount of time you're going to save. Just choo, 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 choo. You can literally stick 100 cards through this thing in like five minutes, and they're all photographed, they're on your computer, and then you can start making your listings. Imagine how quickly you could get thousands of postcards, sports cards, trading cards up if that was what you were using. Again, it's $249. From the link, I've seen it as low as $229, $225. I've seen it as high as almost 300 bucks, but um, right now it's $249. Canon, not a sponsor, but it is an affiliate link. If you do purchase it, I'll get a couple of bucks for uh, you guys buying it, so I appreciate that. Um, but don't invest in it because I need a couple of bucks. Invest in it because it's going to help your business, and it's super easy. It's about a five-minute setup. You just download the driver, download the software, pops up Windows or Mac, and then you just go to town, and that's it. That's all you got to do, guys. So 
demo video, a little bit different from my channel, but hopefully you guys appreciate it. Hopefully you learned something and um, hopefully you get one and use it. And if you do, let me know how you like it. If you already have one, let me know in the comments section how good it works out. And uh, I'll leave you guys with that here on a Friday. Enjoy your uh, evening. Enjoy your weekend if I don't hear from you, but I'll have videos up all Saturday and Sunday long. Please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. Come back, watch more videos, uh, reselling, news, how-tos, eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and the news about entrepreneurship, scams, businesses, and everything you need to know in the world. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next time.